Today, I'm going to explain the concept of shielding of protons by rain currents. So, the first thing I want to get at is something that you had to learn in electricity and magnetism physics. When you apply a, a magnetic field through a ring, let's just say you apply a magnetic field in this direction through a ring, it will induce a current within the ring that will cause a magnetic field to go against the applied magnetic field. So if you apply a current, if you apply a magnetic field here through this ring, through a conducting ring, the current will go it'll induce a current in this direction of the ring so that it'll, pr it'll produce a magnetic field this way that will oppose the applied magnetic field so Going over to this molecule, you have this large aromatic ring that is fully conjugated with protons inside, sticking inside the ring and protons sticking outside of the ring. So if you were to put, take an NMR spectrum of this molecule, apply a magnetic field this way through the ring, since it's fully conjugated, electrons have the ability to travel through around this ring as if it were a conducting metal ring. If it, if it were a large conducting wire. So, it'll apply a magnetic field this way to oppose a magnetic field. So, hydrogen's outside the ring, the magnetic field is increased because not only is you have this magnetic field coming down from the, the NMR, it also has a magnetic field applied by itself that's going to increase it out here because it's going in the same direction out here. You have the NMR magnetic field and you have the uh, induced magnetic field outside the ring enhancing it. Inside the ring it's going to be shielded because the induced magnetic field is opposing the magnetic field applied by the NMR. So that's basically shielding and deshielding by ring currents.